So if this is a consistoria, do the math. You're probably wondering what's a gigaton, how many elephants to the moon, and how to save the planet. Do the yes. math. Knock, knock. Whoa, who, who's that? Christmas carolers. In October? At the Christmas time, in the world agreed, the limit is two degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, at the Copenhagen summit, leaders from all over the world agreed that two degrees is the limit of CO2 in the atmosphere. And CO2 comes from burning fossil fuels, which wraps the earth in a blanket, smothering it and keeping the heat in. This heat, as it warms, causes climate chaos. Floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, storms. Ladies and gentlemen, the situation is getting critical. If we keep heating the planet past two degrees, we will be on deck for something we do not want to see. Two degrees is too much. And how many gigatons of carbon does that mean? It means 565 gigatons. That's how much fossil fuel carbon we can burn before we go over two degrees. And how much is a gigaton, Dave? You're wondering how much. A gigaton is a billion tons. And we actually did the math on it. And that means that if you stacked elephants on top of each other for one gigaton, it would go to the moon, back, and then halfway back again. That's just one gigaton. That's a lot of elephants, Dave. Yeah. And the amount of time, right now we're burning 30 gigatons a year. So we're looking at 16 years and we hit that two degrees. 16 years? Oh, man. So right now we need to dramatically reduce and switch to renewables so we can keep well below 565 gigatons. The maximum amount because the limit is two degrees. The fossil fuel industry has, in its books, claimed as its own 2,795 gigatons of carbon. Way more carbon than the maximum amount, because the limit is two degrees. And how much too much carbon does that mean? Five times too much. Because the limit is two degrees. So what, what is, is the deal with this crazy industry? <laughs> while, this, oh, while all this carbon is still physically under the ground, companies and corporations are already banking on it, borrowing on it, and making profit, profit off of it. They're, They're banking on it, and it's five times too much. Cause the limit is two degrees. If they do what they want what would that really mean? So we have a choice on our hands. We can have a healthy planet that supports life and beauty, or a planet that supports the bottom line of the fossil fuel industry. All the ways they extract oil are hurting us on the way before it even hits the climate. With oil, it's spilling, drilling, and refinery pollution. With coal, it's more pollution. 
and blowing up mountaintops and removing them. And with fracking, they want to poison, poison our water and frack for natural gas. Getting at the carbon, let's destroy the planet. They're banging on it. It's five times too much. Weigh the carbon and the maximum amount is the limit is two degrees. So how can we stop this complete catastrophe? Well, the good news is there's grassroots movements taking direct action against all of these extreme extraction <laughs> methods. And they're trying to stop them, but we think we need to move from NIMBY, not in my backyard, to NOPE, not, not on, on planet, planet Earth. Earth. Woo! 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 Please, we've got to stop them getting at the carbon that's destroying the planet Earth. What are we going to do? How are we going to get ourselves out of this? We need people power. Say people power. 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 People power. But wait, politicians have all the power. Yeah, but Kevin, since Kyoto, they've done worse than nothing. They won't do it for us. We need people power. People power. Oh, I get it. So I'll change my light bulbs. Well, Kevin, that's great, and we need to take personal responsibility for our consumption patterns, but it's not enough, and it's not going to move it fast enough. We need systemic change. We need people power. People power. Oh, so if the power of the fossil fuel industry comes from their money, maybe we should all stop giving them our money in our pension funds, our universities endowments, Woo! our retirement funds, Woo! our 401 <laughs> <laughs> power is a relationship. Their power comes from us. People power. People power. Say people power. People power. Everybody shine. Be solar powered. Speak your mind. That's wind Ooh. power. Move your H2O. Wave power. Organize people power. We got the soul power. Say soul power. Soul power. Say food justice. Food justice. Say transit justice. Transit justice. Say real democracy. Real democracy. Say real democracy. Real democracy. For each one of these areas where fossil fuels are consumed, there's viable, well-known, ecological, and just ways that we can replace them. In order to do that, we actually need real democracy, not the plutocracy of the 1%, but ordinary people getting together and taking decisions into their hands. We're here to do the math. People form a square, not a rectangle, a triangle, a square over there. Yeah, a square over there. Yeah, right, right there. We're here to do the math, here to break it down. See what's adding up, a number crunching sound. Say, do the math. Do, do the math. math. Don't let the math do you. <laughs> First two, yeah, you. Unities, no more. Next two, you there. Two degrees, beware. Neighbors, reach your hands out and do your part. Pull round the square, that's a real good start. Time your hand, y'all. 565 steps in the right hand star. Try six more to the left, now see where you are. You've passed your goal, shift it back here. Don't exceed two degrees, is that clear? So don't see no your partner and listen up. That's five times more CO2 gases that's rising up. So before the earth release them, do see though. 2,795 they're banking on, that's a no-no. So unite your hands and band together. My people, the people, we can do better. So go and do the math. You'll see that we ain't wrong. Let's keep this movement moving to the 350 song. So go and do the math. You 
you'll see that we ain't wrong. Let's keep this movement movement to the 350 song. Yeah. 